Got an iPhone, want to protect it with NordVPN, but don't know where to start? In this NordVPN iPhone tutorial, I'll show you exactly how to download, set up, and use the app in 10 simple steps, plus some tips and tricks on optimizing your connection. First things first, you'll need to get a subscription to the NordVPN iPhone app. To get any of their plans at my exclusive low price that you won't find on their website, just scan the QR code I left on screen or click the link in the description. There are a few plans to choose from, all of which include use on 10 devices at once and allow you to customize your subscription length to either one month, one year, or two years. The basic plan gets you the fully functioning VPN. However, if you're looking to keep your iPhone safe from all online threats, then the middle tier is the way to go. This plan not only protects your network connection with the VPN, but also comes with its threat protection feature to block malicious sites and trackers. What's more, there's other protective features, such as an ad blocker and password manager. NordVPN is already generally very affordable, but considering how many features are packed into this specific plan, it's got an especially excellent price-to-value ratio. Once you've picked and purchased your subscription, the next step is downloading the app from the App Store. Just a quick reminder, do not buy directly through the app because it'll cost more than if you use our Cyber News discount. If you sign up through our link, you'll already have a subscription and then you can simply log in after you've downloaded the app to your phone. Before exploring the features, I highly advise doing a NordVPN iPhone setup with the MFA and Auto Connect functions to safeguard your phone right from the get-go. To set up MFA, head over to Account Settings, open the Multi-Factor Authentication tab, then click Manage MFA. You'll now be prompted to verify your email address through a code. Once that's done, you can navigate to the Setup button and scan the QR code that pops up automatically. Simply verify the code that was sent to you and be sure to save all backup codes before finishing. Enabling Auto Connect is also important, as that ensures you're consistently protected by the VPN when using various public Wi-Fi networks which may not be safe. To set this up, navigate to the Settings icon, click Connection, then the Auto Connect button. Next, I advise enabling Auto Connect on all networks, then pressing Trust This Network button to confirm your current connection is trusted. You can even pick which server the VPN will automatically connect to, or let the app select the fastest one for you. All right, the next step in this NordVPN iPhone tutorial is connecting to a server. There are four main ways to do this. The first way is to hit the Quick Connect button, and this will automatically connect you to the closest and fastest server. The next option, though, is my personal favorite, and that's using the interactive map. You can comfortably scroll over the available servers and click on any one to connect. Alternatively, there's also a server list that's easy to swipe through and even lets you click the three dots to scroll through available cities within that country. The final way to connect to a server is super convenient. All you have to do is type the specific name of the country into the search bar, then click on it. NordVPN offers thousands of servers in 166 locations, so you have plenty of options to choose from. And to get the best possible VPN experience, I also advise all NordVPN app iOS users to adjust the tunneling protocol during setup. Under Settings, select the Protocol tab, and you'll see a drop-down list of all the available protocols. In general, I advise sticking with the recommended option as it provides the smoothest performance. However, if you ever run into any connectivity issues, then the best NordVPN troubleshooting solution is to switch protocols. Nordlinks is the fastest protocol and therefore generally the default setting. OpenVPN TCP is the marginally more stable of the group, so it's ideal if you're experiencing lags, but honestly it won't make a big difference. While the OpenVPN UDP option is less stable, but a bit faster. Nord Whisper, on the other hand, bypasses restrictive networks while maintaining security. Tailoring these protocols to your needs is a useful way to enhance your NordVPN for iPhone experience. Similarly, Step 5 helps you customize things even more, and that's by utilizing the specialty servers. These are located in the Servers tab right above the country list, and are designed to optimize specific online activities. Connecting to the double VPN routes your traffic through two servers for an extra layer of encryption and security. The Onion over VPN server, on the other hand, combines the VPN connection with the Tor network, so you're able to increase privacy without actually needing the Tor browser. For those of you who frequently torrent, the PDP server makes the downloading process smoother and more efficient. And if you're looking to disguise your VPN usage so it appears to actually be regular traffic, then the obfuscated servers are the way to go. 
you'll need to first switch to an open VPN protocol, which then helps you bypass restrictions and censorship. And to ensure that all your online activity and personal data are safe from threats, I highly suggest enabling the threat protection feature. You can access it by clicking the second tab at the bottom, which offers users the choice between using it when the VPN is active or to always have it working in the background. Once activated, threat protection helps filter out scam websites, blocks ads, and saves up to 20% of mobile data by reducing unnecessary traffic. Another feature that NordVPN iPhone users should absolutely enable to keep their data secure is dark web monitoring, which monitors your email for any data or password leaks. If your personal data is leaked, you'll be notified, and you can even add multiple email accounts for complete protection. Just navigate to the fourth tab on the bottom, Account Profile, then turn on the dark web monitoring button and add any email addresses you'd like to be monitored. Moving right along in this NordVPN tutorial, step eight is to regularly check the security score feature. This is a handy way to regularly ensure that all of the security features we just activated are constantly enabled and working. The security score feature is also located in the fourth tab and you only need to make sure that all the toggles are switched on. Since we just did that, the score should now be 100% and totally secure. And remember, you can get all of these protective features to keep your iPhone safe at my exclusive lower price by using the coupon I left in the description. Now that the security features are all set, we're going to enhance privacy by enabling local network discovery under settings. Though it may sometimes disrupt connectivity, it's great for those wanting to boost privacy on their local network. Just keep in mind, while enabled, this feature does block airdrop usage, and you'll be unable to connect to a smart TV. All right, the final step in this NordVPN tutorial is to enable Siri shortcuts. To do this, head over to Settings, then click on Siri Shortcuts. Next, press the Secure My Connection button, and now you can either type in a sentence or record a voice command to instruct Siri on what to do. All right, that's our entire tutorial on how to use NordVPN on iPhone. If you run into any connectivity issues along the way, I have a few tips that generally help solve this quickly. First, check your internet connection. If there's a problem there, then try switching to a different server or restarting your phone. If none of these works, then change your protocol to OpenVPN TCP, then connect to an obfuscated server. Lastly, you can reset all networks for a fresh start. Just keep in mind, this will delete any saved Wi-Fi connections. If you're still experiencing connection issues, then you can contact NordVPN's 24-7 customer support for live help. And remember to check out the discount deals via the link I've left in the description so you're guaranteed to get the lowest price possible on a subscription. Overall, setting up NordVPN on your iPhone is a quick, simple, and powerful way to protect your privacy and security online. If you have any further questions on this topic, let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.